Hey folks, welcome. Nash Taters here. I want to thank everyone who's been supporting this channel. And if you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button. We're really trying to hit 250 subscribers. And as always, if you enjoy my content, hit that like button. I wish America a happy birthday, and let's begin the day with a review video of Naya. So when looking at her stats, you can clearly see that her most standout stat is going to be her HP. Uh, given the fact that she is an SR unit, her HP seems to be a little low. But when you add from the grid, it does add an extra 160. Her master ability adds an additional 40% magical attack power and activation negative 25%. I think the key thing here, obviously, is the activation time. It's going to be really good for her since she's going to be spending a lot of her time healing. And of course, the extra magic doesn't hurt the fact that her heal is going to be very high in numbers. Her trust master reward isn't all that spectacular. It adds some HP and adds some defense. It's pretty much the same across the board for all SR units that give you an armor. They all add a little bonus to a specific elemental attack resistance. When looking at her resistances, one of the biggest things that's going to stand out are going to be the fact that she's weak to pretty much all physical attacks in the game. She does have a tiny bit of increase against magical attacks. She has three jobs, White Mage, Cleric, and Red Mage. Let's begin with White Mage. Now White Mage, she has tons and tons of skills. She has Cure, she has Asuna, which are for me recommended. Of course, Tarotas is confirming that. Uh, regenerate, all the Cures, and Raise. Once you awaken her to 6 stars, you have access to more powerful skills. Full Life, which allows you to revive the target and restores full HP. That's pretty insane. Holy allows you to do really heavy light damage, which is really good. And then the other one is Regen. The Cleric job does not offer too many skills, but two really good supporting skills I recommend would be Mind Level 1, which will increase your spirit, and Auto Cure, which has a chance to small restore small amounts of HP to herself when receiving damage. The Red Mage sub-job, it's something that you may consider using if you need damage, but due to the fact that she's pretty fragile, and usually attackers tend to kind of move to the front line to get in within range, so it's a sub-job I highly do not recommend using. When it comes to building this unit, there are several support skills I think will really make her shine. First one, of course, is Spirit Up, increasing her defense against magic attacks. Initial AP level 1, of course, gives her extra boost in AP, which allow her to use a few skills right in the beginning of combat. Reaction skills, I think, is where the flexibility truly comes in. Most people prefer the Regenerator, which gives her triggered ability of regen. I personally think it's situational. In specific fights where you're forced to being targeted by, say, one enemy unit, Regenerator is probably the best. But in specific situations such as Tower, where you potentially can be hit from all sides, Auto Cure is good because you can just pretty much heal for quite a amount. I've seen as high as 700 hit points restored every time you take a hit. Another option, as I already talked about, is Magic Reflex. But that's something more of a niche build. When it comes to Vision cards, there's going to be the super apparently clear ones to use, such as Trousseau to increase magic, which will both affect her healing and her damage. Other cards might include, of course, Ramu or any card that can give her boost in magic attacks specifically. But I feel like for her, since she's so fragile, I would highly recommend using cards that will boost up her defensive abilities or HP abilities. This is a card that perhaps some people overlook, Birth New Life, which will individually increase her HP. If you truly want to pat her defensive stats, I actually suggest Leona's Castle. Now, maybe some people might not agree, and that's okay. And if you don't, please put in the comments section below why you disagree. For me, I feel like increasing her defense and spirit is actually a good thing, because in case she does take a hit, then at least she can migrate some of that damage, especially against physical attackers. 
When it comes to actually equipping a, a Esper card, you can be very flexible here. My suggestion is equip her with magical attack boost or magic a power boost. But trying to find Espers that have something that you're really targeting in terms of resistance. An example would be if you're going against a lot of slash attackers in the tower, equip the card, excuse me, equip an Esper that can potentially have that ability to increase your slash resistance. Of course, this is a game where you're going to have the most flexibility in terms of your build. Equipment wise, I would highly suggest giving her a smart coat here because you can easily build this to a plus five. But as you can see, I just simply use, use a plus two. My suggestions perhaps go with the vital type or maybe the defensive type. Now for my final thoughts on this unit. I feel like she's actually a strong candidate to replace Ayaka, clearly, if you don't own Ayaka. But even if you did, it's not bad to build multiple supporting units. Her being a white mage, she has access to some of the most powerful support abilities in the game. While she is a bit fragile, you can definitely patch those things up using strong equipments and strong trust masters. Overall, I will grade this unit an 8 out of 10. For the fact that her healing is comparable to the URs in terms of power. Alright, that's all the time we have for this video. I want to wish everyone a happy and safe 4th of July. And as always, take care of yourself and all your loved ones. Nash Taters out.